The easiest cake style pudding soaked and drizzled with a warm caramel sauce topped with a dollop of whipped cream. This scrumptious sticky toffee pudding. Honestly, you must try this. Simple ingredients, really easy to prepare, and whether you're serving this showstopper of a dessert for a casual get-together or a fancy family dinner for the holidays, rest assured, everyone will love it. The great thing about this post and this video, basically, I'm gonna show you how to make a cake, make a sauce, and then I'm gonna show you how to serve it. Let's start with the cake, it's really easy. Oven is preheated to 350 degrees with the rack in the middle position. Lightly butter an 11 by 8 inch glass or oven safe casserole dish. Next, we're over to stove top. Take a small saucepan, add 3 quarters of a cup of homogenized milk. We're going to scald the milk, get it nice and hot. Now at the workstation, I have one cup of chopped dates. I'm sprinkling them with one teaspoon of baking soda. I'm gonna pour the hot milk over the dates, stir and let them sit to cool for about 15 minutes. While those milky dates are cooling, let's do a dry mix. Medium sized bowl, one and a half cups unbleached all purpose flour plus two teaspoons of baking powder and a quarter teaspoon of kosher salt. Let's stir those ingredients together. Remember how I said this was gonna be easy? Food processor, blade attachment. Into the canister pour three quarters of a cup of dark brown sugar, add six tablespoons of butter. I crack two eggs into a small bowl, whisk them together. They go into the canister along with two teaspoons of pure vanilla extract. Run the machine on a low speed to combine. While the machine is still running, we're adding our dry mix one tablespoon at a time. The batter is going to get really thick. Now we're going to add the softened dates into the mix. Lid comes off the machine, we're going to add the dates, lid goes back on, and we're going to run the food processor a little bit quicker this time on medium speed. Your goal is to process until the dates are finely chopped in with the batter. Then simply pour the batter into the prepared casserole dish, smooth out the top, we're going to transfer it to the oven and bake for 30 minutes. While it's baking, we're going to make a salted caramel sauce. On stovetop, medium sized saucepan, moderate high heat, melt half a cup of butter, then add one and a half cups of brown sugar, half a teaspoon of kosher salt, stir to dissolve the sugar into the butter, then add three quarters of a cup of 35% cream, continue to stir until the sauce begins to bubble, then reduce to simmer. Cook for about 10 minutes, stirring occasionally until it's reduced to a thickened consistency. Right about now, the cake is done. Bring it out of the oven. I know, you're gonna be like, big deal. It's a cake, but just wait, because now we gotta finish it. We're gonna grab a brochette and poke holes into the cake, then slowly pour about a third of the quantity of salted caramel sauce onto the cake, trying to cover the surface. Just go slow. Add more in spots needing a good soak. Leave it to soak for 15, then we're ready to serve. Suggestion, have a camera or your phone handy because there is a beautiful beauty shot on the way. Salty sweet, give the dish a sprinkle of sea salt flakes. Next, cutting into it, it's barely an effort. It is so light in texture. Lifting out a square, I'm using just a fork. It comes out perfectly. It is still steamy. We're gonna transfer it over to dessert plates. Let's add a drizzle of that salted caramel sauce. Look at it cascading down over the sticky toffee pudding. We're gonna do another sprinkle of sea salt and then a dollop of whipped cream. I am so not joking, this dessert is that easy. 
You'll find the full recipe up at weekendatthecottage.com. Please subscribe to our website when you're visiting. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. And then finally, take my suggestion. Take a picture of this beautiful dessert when you make it. Post it on your favorite socials using hashtag weekend at the cottage when you do on Pinterest, the Gram, and Facebook. Scrumptious Sticky Toffee Pudding. You'll know after your first bite, and as we say up here in cottage country, the proof is in the pudding. Enjoy. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I'm totally head to foot in goosebumps. Oh, oh, so good. Mm. Wow. Oh, so good.